I work uh, towards modeling marine geosystems and specifically the gas hydrate systems and these are extremely critical materials in the sense that um, they're very important for global energy but there are also concerns about global climate and also uh, they have some very serious geohazards associated with them both from natural activity as well as human induced activity it is such an unknown area that you cannot just go into the field, you cannot make experiments out of this, you cannot just do field studies. That's too dangerous. You can even create tsunamis if you're not uh, very careful. So in this sense, uh, modeling is absolutely necessary. This is what I do. I quantify these risks. I make predictive models. I make uh, analysis, geotechnical analysis, production feasibility analysis, and all of this. I studied uh, mechanical engineering, then uh, I focused on energy technology, so I studied cryogenics. I did my PhD in mathematics, and now I'm doing marine geosystems. To me, uh, modeling is very close to art. You have the chance to create. You can really think of scenarios and you can create those scenarios, you can test those. It's like realistic art. But then when you have purely mathematical models, you also have chance to create patterns. You know, create these patterns with some physical motivation. You know, you see these extremely complex system of equations come to life in dynamic form and you see patterns forming. I think that's beautiful. I think the first thing I would really tell myself is, hey, calculus is your friend. You know, it's more important than you think. <laughs> Another thing is, please take coding more seriously. You're really gonna need it. <laughs>